This is a 2009 CTSV, and four years ago I owned it, but not for the whole time. So this car I owned in 2020, about four years ago. And the funny story is, so I sold the car. It had like 120,000 miles on it or so. And it was pretty much stock, not a bunch done to it. And I sold it to a guy and he contacted me uh, a couple days ago actually. And he was like, hey, um, I'm going to sell the car. I'm looking to get a truck and um, would you be interested in purchasing it? And I was like, well, I mean, the CTSVs have gone up a little bit in value. You know, they are desirable still, and they have an LSA, a supercharged V8. So yeah, I'll, I'm interested. So I went and bought it. Is the CTSV still relevant in today's market? Let's see. I mean, it's 15 years old for the earliest model like this, which is a 2009. Um, I'd say it is because for a four-door car that's rear drive, that's American, that's pretty easy to work on, still has a ton of power and very simple as far as what makes it work, I'd say it's a great bargain. The LSA, the 6.2 liter engine that's in this car is very robust because it was built to be a boosted motor. Obviously it comes with the supercharger stock. Now people put different blowers on it they you know poured out the blowers put huge um, upgraded pulleys on the lowers and smaller ones on the top and make tons of boosts and you know the engines are pretty safe and reliable into the 800s and 900s I'm sure people are making thousands on stock block I mean that's a positive for it the other positive that I don't know if people talk about a lot is the fueling because this is before GM and a lot of manufacturers went to direct injection. Now, there's great positives with direct injection. You can run more timing. You can basically run lower air fuel ratios at wide open throttle. But the downside with most high pressure systems is they never have enough fuel and they run out pretty fast on most vehicles like the LT4, for instance, which is the, you know, next generation of this so with this one it, it they keep it pretty simple i mean you can basically put large injectors in the engine and put a large fuel pump or dual fuel pumps basically this runs dual stock which gets you pretty far but if you wanted to go farther it's a pretty simple change to larger fuel pumps in the rear and then bigger injectors in the front whereas an LT4 or something on a newer CTSV or a Camaro or the Corvette would require very expensive direct injection injectors that are overboard as well as high pressure pump or as well as a cam lobe to actually fix that fueling. So these are still very relevant in the fact that it's pretty cheap to make power. You know, you don't run into that same fueling issue. You can get these into the 7, 800 with a cam, you know, pulleys, a blower fix, and your fueling system figured out. And it's a very capable car at that point. Now, 